All right, guys, so some interesting news out of iSeriously's Twitter page this morning. Apparently, the Part 2 LR banner for the 7th anniversary will be centered around the iconic fight between Goku and Vegeta in the Saiyan Saga, uh, featuring a Kaoken Goku with his Kamehameha, and also Vegeta with his Gallic Gun. And supposedly, these are going to be the two Part 2 LRs. The Saiyan Saga, Goku, and Vegeta. And while I am by no means disappointed by this, I think a lot of people, myself included, are a bit surprised by this um, reveal. You know, and obviously this is not an official reveal. This is I seriously, who is a very prominent leaker, and generally speaking, he's never wrong about these things. So it's um, very close. To a confirmation although there is a very tiny chance it could be something different so keep that in mind but anyways like i said he's rarely wrong he rarely misses and it looks like the part two lrs for the seventh anniversary will be a saiyan saga vegeta and also a saiyan saga alec and goku and uh yeah it's just a bit surprising because i think most of us were expecting a continuation of the themes that were in part one of the anniversary. So Dragon Ball GT and uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly. So based on the fact that we had a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and also a Blue Goku and Vegeta in part one, many people were thinking or expecting that part two would feature a uh, Omega Shenron and also a full power Broly. And that was my preference and expectation as well. But I am 100% okay with this. Obviously, it's been a very long time since we've had um, Saiyan Saga units in general, especially for how iconic this fight was in the show. Um, we don't really have many representations of these characters, right? At least Goku and Vegeta in these forms. I mean, the only real representation we have in the game right now would be the tech Kaoken Goku and also the Fizz Gallic Gun Vegeta, and these guys are obviously very, very old, so we were due for an update, and apparently they're coming in part two of the anniversary. Um, I would have kind of hoped, honestly, that, you know, it would be its own, like, Duel Dokkan Fest, maybe for, like, Golden Week or for New Year's or something like that, because, once again, it's very iconic, um, so I think, like, Dokkan Fest... LRs or even Dokkan Fest TURs would have been preferred. Um, these like legendary summon LRs are always hit and miss in my opinion. Like some of them are very very good, but some of them are a little bit wonky, right? And when it comes to Dokkan Fest LRs, they're generally more consistent in terms of performance. So yeah, uh, dual Dokkan Fest LRs or TURs would have been better, but at least we're getting them. Um, finally. So, yeah, I can't complain. Let me know in the comments down below if this actually ends up being what we see in the uh, upcoming part two video, which is dropping in, I think, less than 12 hours or definitely less than 24 hours from now. Um, if this is what it ends up being, if this is the reveal, then how do you guys feel about it? Are you disappointed? Are you excited for it? Because, like me, you've been waiting for a new. Saiyan Saga Goku and Saiyan Saga Vegeta, or would you have preferred something else like an Omega Shenron, a full power Broly, or maybe just some villains, right? I mean, actually, no, in this context, Vegeta is technically a, a villain here. He's the bad guy. He's an extreme unit. He's going to be, right? So um, I guess it's fine that we have one super and one extreme. But uh, yeah, as I said, you know, these, these, uh, Legendary summon LRs, these top legendary summon LRs are generally hit and miss. They usually age worse than Dokkan Fest LRs. So uh, hopefully that trend changes, but my hopes are not like super high. I'm sure they'll hit very hard. I'm sure they'll have some good defense. It's just like over time, non Dokkan Fest LRs tend to have less staying power uh, compared to Dokkan Fest LRs. They tend to uh, stay relevant for you know, a shorter period of time compared to 
the Okan Fest DLRs. So that's why, as I said multiple times, like I would have preferred a Dokkan festival for these two and also like a full-fledged celebration as opposed to a part of a celebration but it is the anniversary so I guess it's like still very very special and uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of Saiyan saga themed just things in part two like uh, you know story events um, challenge events and stuff like that so definitely once again not disappointed just surprised just surprised and of course we don't have uh, any details about their kits at the moment what their leader skills are what their passives are anything like that and uh, we're still waiting for the animations as well from the reveal video in about a day or so so all that stuff is still upcoming but for now the units or the characters themselves have been basically revealed and just to be clear to be extra extra clear it's not official it's not official, but it's pretty damn close because it is, I seriously. So, um, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for the video. There's not really much else to talk about. Once we get more information, once we get more details, more reveals, I'll definitely let you guys know in the next video. But for the time being, Talking Goku and Gallic Gun Vegeta, Saiyan Saga themed part two to the anniversary. Let me know your opinions in the comments. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.